Greeting, ladies and gentlemen. Today video, I'm gonna uh, re-explain again about question number two because one of our friend cannot see uh, the answer that I'm right in the previous video. So I need to uh, rewrite it again and remake it again. But anyway, um, question two, there is a under a normal operating condition, the electric motor exerts a top of 2.8 kN on a shaft AB, knowing that each shaft is solid, determine the maximum sharing stress in A, shaft AB, B, shaft BC, uh, and CD, given the reference answer that would be uh, this value. Now, First thing first, if I attempt to answering this question, we need first we need first to draw the FPD. I am assume that this motor for rotating in the direction of uh, if you take a look in this direction, in this point of view, the top will exit it downward direction produced by the motor um, by if you take a look in the uh, side view um, the motor was rotating in the anti-clockwise direction but if you take a look in the front uh, in this in this direction it will have a direction of top downward direction <laughs> because if you take a look in the side direction it will be like this it is a shaft and the motor rotating, I'm assuming, is rotating in this direction. So if you take a look in front, um, then the top will exit the downward direction, which is in this direction. So that's why I'm making cross section. There is a top that exited by the motor downward direction. The question asking, what is the determine the maximum sharing stress? Now I'm gonna use uh, the sharing stress due to torsion formula so we'll have an internal torque exited by the motor since that the analysis were made at point A to point B which is involved the torque exited by the motor so torque exited by the motor times by C it is the uh, distance from the origin to point of analysis uh, and over by J. J is stand for polar moment of inertia. Now, the internal top that will be 2.8 kilo newton meter. Uh, in this equation, you need to concern about internal top, not an exited top. In the equation, it being given 2.8 kN on shaft AB, the motor exited. This is the torque that been exited from the motor upon the shaft. But in this formula, we were using internal torque. Will have a, it will have a same magnitude as 2.8 kN by the electric motor. But in a different direction, it is mean if the motor were exerted top in downward direction, so it will have internal top in the upper direction, uh, but the same magnitude. So that's why you will have a 2.8 kN meter, but in a different direction of top. And the value of C in this question is refer to the radius for the shaft. For example, if you take a look at the shaft AB, you will have a cross section area. It's like a, a circular, so you will have an origin. Now, the point of analysis is from the origin into the very outer of this uh, shaft. In the other word, a simple term, we call it as radius. Because, and determine the maximum, the word maximum is refer to the uh, maximum point that you will get so as as 
the uh, old system were operating the outer area of the shaft will burden by the highest maximum by the highest maximum shearing stress so that's why we were taking a point of analysis at the very outer of this shaft which is as example in there so uh, it's just uh, simple to say that the value of C is just a radius of this shaft from the origin because as it's asking a maximum shearing stress it's need to uh, make an analysis at the very outer of the shaft because at this point at this point it will occurs the most highest maximum shearing stress so the value of c it is just as simple as the radius of this shaft uh, you need to divide uh, 56 point uh, 56 millimeter in here into uh, 0.028 then you need to convert it into meter because we were dealing with SI unit in the form of kilonewton meter so you need to convert it in meter into meter so that's why you will get 0.028 meter now the value of J or polar moment of inertia is depend on the shape that you were dealing with since that we were dealing with a solid shaft so the polar moment of inertia that will be pi over by 2 C the power of 4 the value of C as you, uh, call, uh, as you as you may uh, guess the value is is just the same as 0 0.0 to 8 meter so the value of c for the polar moment of inertia is sharing the same value for the c in the upper side of this formula so you can simple uh, this equation even more into this one by cancelling out the value of C in the upper side by the below so we will get tau prime over by P over by pi over by 2 C the power of 3 so now you need to insert the dead term then you will get 81.2 megapascal we proceed to the second question asking about the maximum sharing stress at uh, cross section B to C so you need to cut make an FPD from uh, point A to C from here to there so this is the uh, cross section that I make you will have a 2.8 kN the internal torque because we were dealing with internal torque so that's why uh, you will have a uh, direction of torque from the motor upper direction is come from the internal torque that we defined just now 2.8 kN exerted upward you will have an uh, inter another internal torque maybe uh, 1.4 kN exerted downward direction at the shaft BC it will have an internal torque also um, that defined from uh, the uh, equilibrium of 2.8 kN by 1.4 kN so you need to divide 2.8 kN since that it have a different direction uh, than 1.4 kN thus you will get 1.4 kN as the upward direction at shaft BC so you will get 1.4 kN for the, the, for the value of internal torque or BC you times it by the value of C since that is sharing the it's not sharing the same radius so you need to divide 48 by 2 so you need to convert it into meter thus you will get 0.024 in the form of milli in the form of meter you divide it by pi over by 2 the value of C you need to power by 4 thus you will get 64.5 megapascal and again the value of C in the downward uh, side in the, in the 
downside is just the same as the upper side. Now, let's bring our our discussion into the last question, which is shaft CD. So you need to make an cross section from point A to point D. There is the FPD, so you will have a 2.8 kilometer uh, produced by uh, been given by internal torque from motor. You will have a 1.4 kilometer meter been given by equation as it downward. As you take a look in this point of view, you will exit the downward direction. You will have another move uh, top that have a magnitude 0.9 km meter uh, downward direction and you may guess by now uh, you will have another internal top at CD so this uh, internal top we need to define it is just simply as equilibrium of this uh, other top so this mean 2.8 you need minus it by 1.4 kN, minus by 0.9 kN. I'm assume upward, upward, direction, upward direction as positive and downward direction as negative. So there you can have it 0.8 kN meter minus by this magnitude. So you just uh, simple the equation, uh, cancel out the value of C at the upper side to the below side, then since that you have a uh, diameter about 48 millimeter you need to convert it into meter if up by 2 you will get 0.04 for the value of c and you will get 23 mega pascal so i think that's all for today uh -huh. thank you for watching if you did have an, any advice for me please 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 do so you can do so it will be my pleasure to have it so thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye